Okay? Alright. So, if you notice, um, we have these shadings right here. This is where we're putting um, some of the shadows. You know, if you drew this part, yung mga yan, yung mga lines yan, I'll be teaching you how to do this. How to do the shadows. That's like a flake of a brush. Lines to lines. And then if you notice, there are shadows underneath each feather. So to make it look 3D. So I will I will teach you how to do this using watercolor. And then we will be changing the background. So it's, it's not going to be as boring as this one, which is gray. Uh, we will we will draw clouds and some um, some background that uh, has an illusion that uh, that will make uh, that will give an illusion that Hedwig is sitting in a lavender field. So we will be painting lavender uh, in front of Hedwig, and then we will write a message on the left side because uh, tomorrow is Valentine's Day. So I'd want uh, I I I I'd like you to paint. A Valentine's Day card with Hedwig as a subject and some lavender flowers in front of Hedwig. Okay, so it's going to be Hedwig uh, in front or in a lavender field. Okay, so we will be painting lavender flowers and Hedwig. Okay, so without further ado, let me just stop sharing and we'll proceed with painting. All right, so let me know if... If you can see my other screen just fine or not, or otherwise, okay. All right. Okay, so here is Edwig. If you notice, my drawing is, uh, no, my drawing has this has this shadow uh, section so that I don't forget while painting that there's supposedly shadow in this part, some parts of the owl, okay. So let's start by wetting our brush with clean water. Okay, so grab your big brush. And then, wet the upper part of your paper on top of Hedwig's head. I will teach you how to paint clouds, okay? If you notice, my background has nice sky blue color and clouds, okay? So, uh, the reason I changed that background, my other background to this, it's because I want you to look at my video showing that sky because the sky for this art will be uh, inspired by that ano, that's in batanas by the way okay so after you've wet this part i want you to grab your light blue or if you have a dark blue just uh just grab it and then put it in your mixing palette so if you notice this is still dark blue right so what do you do to lighten it? You just lighten with water. Okay, no need to put white. You just add water. And then once you get the lightest blue possible, okay, you just sweep your brush horizontally across the part where you you have applied water. Okay? There you go. So this is very light. I'm not sure if you can see that because my ring light is reflecting or bouncing off the... Let me just fix that for you. Okay, let me just darken the color because it's too light. I will get blue again from my palette. And then I will just paint it the top section again. There. Making sure that you are not painting over Hedwig. Okay, there you go. Okay. And then while this is still wet, I want you to clean your brush again with clean water. Clean it in the, in the jar and then do it like this. Lift off some colors. Okay. So it's like removing some of the sections where you want to put your clouds. Okay? There you go. So see, I have taken out some of the paint using my clean brush. There you go. Done. 
Yan, para lang doon yung parang idinagdraw kayo ng white by lifting off the colors. So, you're using the whiteness of your paper as your cloud. Okay. So, once you've done that, I want you to grab your white. Okay? I want you to grab your white. If you have white poster color or white watercolor, it's totally fine. Whatever you want. Okay? So, I grab my Sakura poster color. This is a poster color, but you can use white watercolor. And I will dip my clean brush. So, remember, I cleaned my brush prior to dipping into white. Always clean your brush first before dipping into another color, okay? So this is very important. You just mix the white in your mixing palette. So again, this could be watercolor or poster color. And then I will just add the white onto my paper, allowing the paint to spread, okay? There you go. Okay. If you notice, my white poster color is spreading. Spreading because the paper is wet. And that is what I want. Okay? So I'm cleaning my brush again. Okay? I hope you can see that. Tapit ko ha. Here, see? It's spreading to make a puffy, puffy uh, version of the cloud. So the white poster color has to be applied wet while the paper is wet. Okay? Let me just grab this piece of here. Okay. And then once you're done, what you will do is you would need to add shadows underneath the clouds. So if you notice, the whitest part of the cloud is the top part of the cloud. So what you can do is just grab some blue and then add it on your white watercolor or white poster. Okay, so I just add blue, just the blue that I use for the sky and then add it on my poster color. And then what I will do is draw C-like shape. C. Parang C siya na nakahiga. There. Do you see that? C. Yan o. Sa bandang bottom ng owl. Ay, ng ulap. Okay. Is this recording? It's recording, right? Yeah, it's recording. Okay. Ayan. So, I noticed that Okay, so I hope you you see the shadows now, or have you you have you have applied shadows? I noticed that my cloud is not as what as white as I wanted. So what I will do is just grab more poster color and apply it again on the parts where I initially painted on my clouds, but this time just the top part of the cloud because I want the top part of the cloud to be whitest white. Again, you can use any white that you have here, uh, you have in your uh, collection, okay? It could be poster color, it could be wash or watercolor. There you go. So now I am, I have my cloud snap. Then I will just re-add some of the shadows because they're lucky. So look at my yeah. See, it's like this. Yeah. So that's the puffy uh, side of the cloud that you'd want to, to see on your art. Okay? And it has to remain wet while you're painting it. You just grab my water because it's white and replace it with a clean water.
once you're done with your sky, just let me know so that we will proceed to the second uh, half of the background. We just check if there are people sent me message. Done. Okay, very good. Can I see? Oh no, no, wag muna pala. It's wet. Baka mag, mag bumaba yung mga colors mo. Okay, so once you're done, clean your brush uh, well because we will be painting the second half of the background, okay? So the, that background would be somewhere around um, Hedwig's neck area here. You have to wet that part again. And if you notice, I am grabbing that blue color downwards using my clean brush. So my brush is wet, but it has no color on it. So I am just wetting with water, okay? So I want you to, to paint all the way down to the bottom of your paper. Paint with water, okay? So wet, just wet that part, okay? Again, avoiding wetting headwitch. Or Hedwig, sorry. Hedwig. Okay, wag yung muna babasain si Hedwig kasi magbibleed yung colors nyo if you do that. So just wet with clean water the rest of the background area. Okay? Just like what I'm doing right now. We just cover my poster color kasi baka mag-dry siya. Yan. Okay, again, please wet your paper all the way to the bottom, okay? And then once you've done that, grab your green, any green that you have, okay? Mine would be bamboo green, but I will add with a bit of yellow. So I want this to be a little uh, lighter. So you measure yellow green, sha, And then I will just sweep it down towards the bottom okay using my large brush you see like paint na ako ng green very light green lang na okay in watercolor you should be painting from light to dark or most often ganun siya not always me and So, light green lang mo. There. So, yun lang muna yung gagawin niya. Let me know when you're done, ha? Because we are going to add... Uh, Darker green this time. Done. Great. Okay, so what you can do while your paper is paper is still wet, you grab your blue color. 
the same color that I have on my palette, the mixing palette. And then I will add the same green that I added here. So magiging blue green siya. Okay? Para hindi sayang yung green na kinuha nyo. Okay? So it's almost like Viridian green. So dadagdagan ko lang ng konting blue. So ayan, medyo blue green na siya. Ayan. Uh -huh. Ilalagay ko lang siya sa paligid ni Hedwig. There. Sa paligid lang niya, ha? Yung sa bottom, huwag niyo munang pipinturahan. Kasi may, may ilalagay tayo doon. Sa paligid lang ni Hedwig. Um, the reason for this is because I want the background around, right? Just, just around Hedwig to be darker. Because Hedwig is white. You're su it's supposed to stand out. So, dapat yung background niya ay darker. Okay? Yan. And then, if you notice, masyadong contrast dito sa may ano, lalagyan niya, isusoften niya lang siya by clean water. Okay? Itong boundary between the sky and the, the green background, isusoften niya lang using water. Okay? Soften lang with water. Para may konting blending sila. Okay? And, we blend natin konti. Para may sort of transition yung color. See? Na-soften ko na siya. So again, this, this is a combination of the green that you used uh, in the first wash and the blue that you used for the sky. Kaya medyo blue-green siya. Let me know when you're done so that we can proceed to painting Hedwig. Oh no. We'll, we'll start Muna with this, this part. It's a bottom part. Do you guys have yellow ochre in your palette? It's like um, parang medyo gold yung kulay niya. Yellow ochre is this one here. It's like um, yellowish brown. Or no, no, no. Brownish yellow. Kasi mas marami siyang yellow component. So if you have that, you just grab it. Or if you don't have, you can use any yellow that you have. That's totally fine. And I want you to mix it in your mixing palette. Add some water here. 
And then what I want you to do is sweep, sweep it like this. The bottom. That will be your base color for the grassy area as well as some sort of illusion that you have um, weeds in this area. Pero mamaya we'll add green colors. Okay? Kasi we will be painting, in this area we will be painting um, lavender. Okay? So you can sweep that all the way to the green section of your painting. Okay? Yeah, so meron na siyang sort of weed dun sa bottom. And then once you're done with that part, I want you to mix your yellow ochre with the same blue that you use for the sky. Okay, padami. And what you will have is a muted green. Yellow ochre plus the blue that you use for the sky will bring you or will give you muted green. Okay. I want you to sweep. Okay, this is too matapang. Let me just grab another. Okay, matapang masyado yung na-apply ko, but that's fine. Okay, so I grabbed my sky color and added some yellow ochre. Here. Yeah. And so this time I've added green on top of the yellow ochre. Yeah, so my grass again. Yeah. So this, uh, this what we added, the yellow ochre and the green grass are just background to the lavender flowers that we will be painting later. Okay. So we will leave it like that. Until it's totally dry. In the meantime, we will be painting head wig na. So when you're done, just give me a thumbs up. So I can proceed to painting head wig. Are you guys done? Okay, perfect. Just give me a thumbs up if you're done so that we can proceed to painting heavyweight. So for heavyweight, I want you to prepare your um, purple color. So, I don't have purple, but I'm going to mix one using red and blue. Okay, just like before, I love mixing a red and blue for purple. But this time, it's not the red that I will be using another uh, color, which is um, magenta. 
Medyo magenta siya. So, medyo pink. Here. Medyo pink siya. And then, I will add the same blue. The same blue na ginamit ko sa sky. Okay. Just. Tagang matapang. Ayan, here. So, nakapag-mix na ako ng ano, ng... Parang ang konti dito. Pero very light lang. Ginagalang ko pa siya ng water. And then I will just paint it over headwig. Okay? So purple lang siya. Very light purple lang. Marami pa siyang water. Okay? Marami siyang water. This time, I'm avoiding naman yung envelope because the envelope will be of different color. Okay? So, I am already painting over um, Hedwig's feathers using very light purple color. I'm also painting his, uh, her head, her, kasi babae pala siya, uh, her head, but I am avoiding the eye area. The eye area has to be dry, okay? But if, if you have painted over it, we can fix, we can still fix it later. But as much as possible, try to avoid the, the eye area, okay? And the color has to be light, very light purple. Huwag yung darken. So plenty of water in your color pa. Okay? Yan. So I have painted Hedwig and avoided the envelope and her eyes. Let me know when you're done. So we can proceed to painting each feather by adding a darker version of the purple. Okay? So darker version of purple. You just add more colors. So I already have here you blue. Maglalagay lang uli ako ng konting pink para maging purple siya. Okay? But this time, this has more paint. Mas marami na siyang paint. Kala. Nalagyan lang ng konting watercolor yung envelope. So, I'll let, I will just clean that using water. Yan. Okay. Let me know your, when you're done, ha? Adding. Masyadong light, baka hindi nyo nakikita. You don't have purple. What you can do is mix red and blue para makamix ka ng purple. So just your regular red and blue. Okay? If you don't have red, you can use pink also. Okay? Do we have to paint the face purple too? Yes, but very light purple lang. Ha. Take note. Very light purple. Kasi um, what, in watercolor kasi, we don't paint white kapag white yung subject. We just paint it with very, very light color. And then we will make it appear white by adding dark backgrounds and adding shadows, which I will later show you. Okay? Hindi siya talaga, si Hedwig, hindi siya talaga siya white kasi in a way, parang it's the atmosphere yung pinipaint natin. Not really Hedwig per se. I know that doesn't make sense to you, but in watercolor, um, sometimes yung mga white, they are not painted as white. 
they 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 are made to appear white because of the different colors in the background and the shadows. Okay, I will show you later how it's done. So, um, okay, let me just show you that already. I, I have made a darker version of the purple by adding blue to another mixing palette, another section of my mixing palette. And then I added, I will add rather pink. So, more paint. So, I'm doing this because magdadry na kasi si Owl. I have to do this very quickly. So, what I will do Okay, so again, I mix a darker version of the purple. And then what I will do is I will add this in the shadow section of the feather. Okay? Let me show you the picture, ha? This is Hedwig, di ba? Can you see that? Okay. Yung, yung itong, itong part na to, may shadow yan because the feathers are overlapping. Okay, so this part right here, yung pinipaint ko. Yung ilalim ng feather na merong shadow. Okay? So, if you notice, nag, nag, nag ano siya dito, nagkakalat, nagkumakalat yung color. So, lilinisan ko lang siya. But the point of the exercise is to add a shadow and let the color run its course. But if it's too much, mas, mas, masyadong ano yung ano niya, yung pagkalat niya. You can always control that by... You can always control that by cleaning with clean water. Okay? Clean brush. Yan. So, ina-add ko lang yung shadow dito. And then, I'm dragging the paint. Here, oh. Dito muna, ha? So, ito yung shadow na part, right? Ang ginagawa ko, I wet my brush with water. And then, I grab the color from the shadow. Like that. And I'm making it spread sa individual feather na nasa top niya. Okay? Ganun lang siya. Okay? Ganyan. Yan. Okay? So, ganun yung gagawin natin. Ha? So, again, you paint the underside with the feather with darker purple. Not so dark, but you know, darker than the background color or the first wash. Pag ibig sabihin ng first wash, yun yung una natin nilagay na purple. Okay? Yun yung color ng buong katawan ni Hedwig. Okay? So right now, I am painting underneath each feather, yung shadow area. And then, like I said, I am grabbing the color once malinis na yung brush, I'm grabbing the color upwards. Okay? Like that. Yan. So sadly, my paper is not the type that's uh, perfect for, I know, for, perfect for this. Okay. Yan. Yan. Okay. Hi. Okay. So, I'm adding the shadows na uli. Dun sa parts na may shadows yung feathers. Okay. And then, again, grabbing the colors upwards towards the feather. Yan. So, dyan na lang muna sa part na yan. So, baka ma-overwhelm kayo. Then, mamaya, we will make it appear white. There's a trick for that. Okay. Elijah, were you able to, ano, were you able to mix your purple using the colors I recommended? Okay, very good. So, make it lighter lang, ha? Para, ano. Pero it's okay if you've colored your owl purple. Okay lang din naman. No worries. This is your art naman. So, if you want a uh, 
purple owl, that's totally fine. Okay? So once you're, ano, how are you doing with the shadows of the feather? Okay, again, let me demonstrate, ha. Uh, so initially, what we added was light color, light color na purple sa body ni Hedwig. Okay? So light color purple, ha. Light color yan. And then what I did, I mixed another co uh, color of uh, another purple, but this time, mas marami siyang paint. So darker siya in tone. And then what, what we did, uh, what I did rather, is to is to add those darker tone purple so band paper lang to ha so maybe the effect won't be the same underneath each feather as part of the shadow and then on the sides then kung yung kalimutan din yung sides kasi shadow part din yun eh okay so we're basically drawing the yeah sure you can color your grass green no worries Hindi pa yan final. That's only background. So, may gagawin pa tayo dyan. Medyo wet pa siya ngayon, kaya hindi pa natin siya gagalawin. So, if you notice, ito, oh, nag-darken na yung ilalim ng feather. So, once na nalagay mo na yung, ano, nalagay mo na yung dark shadow ng feather, what you will do is you clean your brush and then grab the color from, from the shadow section and then grab it upwards like that. Okay? So... Parang giniglaze mo yung feather using the shadow color, which is a darker version of the violet or purple. Okay? So, in effect, nagbi-blend yung color mo, but it's darker still dun sa shadow part. Yan. So, ganito yung gusto nating effect. You have a darker section, yun yung shadow area underneath the feathers, and then you have a lighter section. Okay? Yun yun siya. Yan. So once you're done with that, using the same shadow color na purple, you just add the shadow section around around the this section, this part of. Kasi may shadow yung envelope against the body of Hedwig. And then this part also here kasi nagka-cast na shadow yung feathers niya sa lower part ng body niya. Okay? Ito this part, dun sa drawing ninyo, napansin nyo mayroong part dito na may dark. So, you will be using the same shadow color para to make the envelope uh, appear 3D. Okay? So, you add shadow here sa ilalim ng envelope and then sa ilalim ng mga feathers. Okay? So, just like what I did just now. Yan. So, I will also add a bit of shadow here the side ng envelope. Okay? Yan. So hanggang doon lang muna tayo sa so, shadow ng feathers na nandito sa left side ng body ni Hedwig and then doon sa ilalim ng envelope at ilalim ng mga feathers. Okay? Let me know when you're done so that we can proceed to painting the rest of Hedwig. Okay? Because after painting Hedwig, we will let uh, Hedwig dry and proceed to painting the lavender field sa baba niya. Okay? So let me know you're when you're done, ha? 
Okay, so anyway, while you're working on your head week, you can also do the same dito sa right side ni Hedwig, yung right side ng envelope and the spark here. The same technique lang din naman siya. You use the same color, which is darker, dark purple, meaning combination of blue and red if you don't have the purple color, or blue and pink, whichever is available in your palette. And then, if you notice, meron ditong mga drawings dito sa side na to, oh, yung ganito. So, i-draw nyo lang din yan using the purple color. Okay? So, that's what I'm going to do right now. I will draw in some of the lines there. Those will depict the uh, smaller or finer uh, shadows of the finer feathers of Hedwig. And then, just like on the left side, I will clean my brush again and grab some of the color and mix it around or blend it around with water. So I'm just using water here. Kinakalat ko lang siya. Let me bring it closer ha. Here. Hindi ko kasi nazo-zoom in yung ano eh. So this is just water. So I initially added the shadow and then just blend the colors using water. Just water on my brush. So I loaded my brush with clean water lang. There you go. Ganyan lang. Okay? Ayan. And then, while you're at it, pwede nyo na siyang ikalat towards the head para hindi naman siya magkakaroon ng sharp um, boundary. Ayan. So again, kinakalat ko lang din yung purple towards the face of Hedwig. Ayan, para consistent tayo na may mga areas na purple and shadows. Okay? Ayan. And then, um, using the same technique, yung, yung mga lines around his eyes, uh, her eyes, babae nga pala si Hedwig, magpipaint lang din ako using the, my fine brush. So, draw ko lang din uli using the purple color. Okay? So, kung na-drawing nyo yung lines na yun, uh, you can also do the same here. So, yun na yung mga fine feathers, fine hairs ni Hedwig. Okay? So, I'm just reinforcing those with the same purple color. There, like what I'm doing right now. Okay? So those are the, just the fine details. If you notice, I haven't touched the eye area. Still dry. So please do the same. Don't touch the eye area yet. Kasi magbibleed yung color if we wet that. Okay? So yun lang. And then if you notice that the colors are sharp, you can always blend it again using clean water on your brush. Okay, so what I did here, just clean my brush in the jar of water and wet it with water. Yeah, so malinis yung brush ko. Walang, hindi na siya loaded with color. But I am grabbing the color from the shadow section. Okay? Yeah. Yeah, para hindi masyadong sharp yung shadows mo. Sinosoften natin siya. How are you doing? Okay. Nice, Elijah. How about you, Vaughn? How are you doing with your owl? Good. Okay, nice. Have you painted the face already? Yes. Have you done the face already? Pa. Okay, very good. Because uh, what we will be painting next, because this is still wet, pwede natin i-paint na yung lavender fields. Okay? Kasi hindi natin muna i-paint yung envelope. At saka yung beak kasi medyo basa pa yung body ni Hedwig. If we paint this and then pag na-touch natin yung purple color, kakalat kasi yung kulay. Okay? That's the thing with watercolor. You can only add layers once 
dry na yung first layer mo. Okay? Unless you're going for loose effect. Okay? But not this time muna. Pause muna natin yung recording, ha? Ha? Ayan, yan, sa envelope. Okay? So, I forgot to to record the part where we are painting lavender. So, we will we just, uh, let me just uh, repeat the instructions. So, what we did here for the sake, uh, I'm, so I'm saying this for the sake of those uh, who will be watching this. Um, we started with flicking our uh, the, the pointed part of our brush upwards. And it's loaded with green ink or green paint rather. We use sap green. Pag ganyan. And then afterwards, we painted pastel violet or pastel purple by mixing purple with white, Chinese white. And then we painted that as a background ng lavender. Okay? And then afterwards, so if you notice, we added uh, the lavender flowers all the way dun sa part na sa sides ni ano ni ni uh, Hedwig para to, ano, to uh, depict that the lavender fields go beyond or behind um, Hedwig. And then after that, we added the shadow colors by dubbing in darker version of the purple around the stem. Okay? Para magmukha siyang ganyan. So magmukhang medyo 3D yung lavender. And then afterwards, we painted the envelope with either yellow ochre or lemon yellow. Okay, and then the beak of Hedwig using um, burnt sienna or any brown that you have in your palette. So the wax seal on the on the envelope, we just colored it with um, red. Uh, for my for myself, I used alizarin crimson, but any red any red that you have, you can use for the wax seal. Okay, so that's what we did. Okay. So, ayan. So, nagmukha ng buhay na buhay yung painting natin. Now, see, it's coming together. Now, we can see that Hedwig is standing on top of a small rock. And then, you have the lavender field around her. Okay? So, the next part would be painting the eye. And this part, you have to really uh, be careful because uh, if you look at your drawing, merong white part, yung highlight ng eye niya. You don't paint that, ha? Don't paint that. Tapos yung yung ano niya, yung area, yung instead na white here, we will be using a uh, yellow, okay? Or yellow orange, yon para sa eye niya. Pwede ring gold if you have gold na color, pwede ring ganon. So let me demo demonstrate that. So for the eye, let me just grab my reference. Okay, so i-share ko sa si inyo yung reference. Para makita nyo yung eye, ha? I-share ko sa si inyo para makita ninyo. Oh, ano? Okay. So, this is head wig. So, if you notice this part, medyo yellow siya and then medyo orange sa gilid. And then you have the black part, yung pupil. And then you have this white. Okay, dito. So, yan yung highlight. Okay. So let just uh, let us paint first yung itong medyo light na color yellow okay If you have gold color you can use that weathering light brown so whichever you have in your palette na medyo close dun sa color ng ito ng part ng eye niya go ahead and grab those okay So in my case I'll be using yellow ochre Okay, so yellow ochre, and then I will paint that part here. 
Yan. Basta iiwasan nyo lang yung white part. Okay? Yan. Nukulayan ko na ha. I hope you can see. Teka ha. Let me just stop share. And then, ipin ko lang yung aking video. Here, ipipin ko siya. Or spotlight. Yan. Yan. So, yan na ha. Nakikita nyo na. And then, pasa pa yan. So, huwag nyo munang gagalawin. Okay? Yung, if you have black, Pwede yung gamitin yung black. Just to paint dito sa outside boundary ng eye. Yan. Be careful lang kasi baka kumalat. Make sure na dry na yung ano ninyo. Yung yellow na nipaint ninyo. Sa akin, I'm painting it sa outside pa na part. Kaya hindi siya kumakalat. Okay? Yan. Pinapatuyo ko lang yung yellow before ako mag-add ng yung black part ng eye niya. Okay? Okay, very good, Elijah. So I, see, I can see that you have already added the yellow part ng eyes. So, pwede mong gawin, Elijah, is to... Uh, Darken yung pinaka bottom or yung pinaka side ng yellow na yon. Darken mo siya. Yan. Ito. So darken mo lang yung tone. Here. Yan. Okay, very good. How about you, Vaughn? Are you done? This is a yellow part ng eye. Okay, po ba ito? Pusap mata? Yeah, yeah. Medyo, ano kita, view na. Okay. Sige, pag dry na yung yellow, saka tayo mag-proceed to painting the black part. Okay, so um, tawag dito. We will, ano? We will, we will paint that pag dry na. And then once done na yung black na part, kita nyo sa akin. Kasi in case na pinturahan yung white part, may fang, may may gag, may tuturo ako sa inyo na pang fix for that. How, how are you, Vaughn? Done ka na with the ano, yellow part ng eye? Dry na po. Okay. Kung dry na siya, what you can do is you grab your black, the darkest black that you have, and then paint dun sa pinaka, ano, eto. But leave the white. Leave the white, ha? May white part dyan. Huwag niyong pipinturahan. Okay. 
Yan. Kasi yan yung highlight ng eye. Eye niya. Okay? But if you accidentally painted it, ang pwede niyong gawin is to add a poster color, a dab of uh, poster color na white. Pwede rin gouache, if you have gouache, or jelly, jelly roll pen na white. Yan, very good, Elida. Yan, once na tapos na yung eye nyo, yung done na tayo. This is the artwork na. Once you're done, ang gagawin nila natin next is to add a message of Valentine's Day for your parents. Okay? It's either your mom, your dad, or both. Okay? So, kung done na kayo, let me know, napaintan nyo ba ng white? Or na, na, napaintan nyo ng black yung white part? Did you make a mistake? Kasi if you did, what you can do is grab your white poster color and then carefully paint white on that part lang. Na na-accidente nyo nalagyan ng black. Gano lang. Gano lang kasi simple yung fix for that. Okay? Tapos, Papatuyin lang natin yan. Uh, what we will write, dun sa left side ni, ano, ni Hedwig ay have an awesome. Ilalagay ko sa chat, sa chat ha. Everyone, uh, have an awesome Valentine's Day. Yan. Yan. Para tugma siya dun sa ano. Yan. Yan ang ilalagay nyo. Isusulat ninyo. So, you can either uh, paint that. You can use your brush to to do the calligraphy or to write your message or you can just use your pen if you're not comfortable writing with your um, brush. So, I will be using purple pa din for the message because I want my colors to be um, medyo uh, tawag dito using the same colors pa rin. So, harmonious pa rin siya. Okay? So, Ha? I'm using purple, ha? but you can use any color you want. Have. Okay. On. So, cursive writing tayo. Do you know how to write in cursive na ba? Hindi pa po. Uh, it's okay if you write in print. No worries. Teacher class just knows how to write in, you know, in cursive. Kaya I'm writing in cursive. Have an awesome Valentine's Day. Okay. There you go. See, I've written my message. It's in cursive. And then because I'm done with my art, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna sign my name here below using the same color and this using the same grass uh brush. It's grass 22. So for the year 22. There you go. So that is your art for art lesson for today. So we might start painting um what you call this food food uh two weeks from now we will be painting food okay using watercolor pa de. okay so this is this is the art okay i'm gonna take a picture of this and we'll send to the group if you want a copy or if you want to see for reference but that's basically it okay and i hope uh, you enjoy this lesson I know it's different from what I have originally posted, but I wanted Hedwig to, uh, to look, you know, uh, to to uh, to look uh, romantic, slightly romantic, or you know, with flowers and all, just in time for the Valentine's Day. So if you're done, uh, just let me know so we will take a class picture.
teacher? Yes. Okay po ba itong color, yung sa sulat? Black? It's green? Did you... Black? Okay lang. Okay lang. It's your art. We will take a class picture, ha? Once you're done. How are you doing, Carlina? Which part are you na? Which part of the painting na? Um, I'm done. Oh, you're done. Can I see? Or is it still wet? Still wet. Okay. No worries. How about you, Elijah? Which part are you na? Mm, it seems Elijah's microphone is not working. <laughs> I can't hear you. But it's okay. You can just chat if you have a message. Were you able to, ano, to paint, Arlene? Or did you just watch? Because it's fine. You can always, ano, watch the recording later. Teacher? Yeah. Pwede ba ako maglagay ng date below sa yeah. paint? Sure, sure. What I did actually is to sign my name and then it has the year right beside it so yeah you can you can put in your your name as well as the day today if you're gonna use this for your portfolio in homeschooling i suggest that you do you do i know you do include the date today Let me just spin this. Spin. There. So if you notice, if you look at the screen, you can see that although we painted Hedwig light purple, it would seem white against your background of lavender field and the sky. So ito yung sinasabi ko sa inyo a while ago na when you're painting a white subject, you don't need to paint, to leave it alone na white lang. You can actually paint it with lighter colors because if you add the background, it will still look or appear white white a white subject okay so when you're painting white in watercolor it's not always uh, by using white it's actually by adding the shadows and adding the background okay yeah so let me just stop recording and then no no let we'll take a photo muna pala before we stop recording so you guys can you know show off your artwork Nice one. Let me just. Uh... Hey, so Vaughn is showing your art. Can you show us again your art? So this is Vaughn's art. So I like it because Elijah, I will spotlight you later. Okay, so for si Vaughn muna. I will spotlight you later para you have your moment na mag shine ka din. Okay, so si Vaughn, ang ginamit niya is medyo yellow, tas green. And then, merong lavender. Okay? And then, there's the message in black. Okay? Very good, Vaughn. I love your artwork. Okay, next, I can spotlight to naman. See? Let me okay. just remove my spotlight here. And then, si Vaughn, natatanggalin ko. And then, let's spotlight Elijah. Okay, can you show us your work, Elijah? Para makita namin lahat. Elijah, are you there? <laughs> Can you show us your work, please, para makita ng mga classmates mo? Spotlight natin si Elijah.
nag-type yata si Elijah. Can I later paint the greetings? Yeah, sure, sure. It's no problem. You can just add in your greetings later. Okay? In the meantime, can I see your artwork? Can we see your artwork? Can you show that to your classmates? So we can appreciate it. Okay, so as you can see, um, Elijah made a wonderful um, tawag dito, painting of the background as well as si Hedwig. Okay, so dito lang, lagyan mo lang ng shadow around the face, Elijah, to just to fix it. Here, itong part na to, so let me just ano ha, uh, remove the spotlight. Replace the spotlight with this one. So, yung kulang lang, Elijah, is this part here. Yan. Iaano mo lang siya. I just, you just, um, tawag dito, draw in yung mga fine feathers using a very fine brush like what I have right now. Then also use the tip of your size 6 brush here. Para lang, para lang, ano, para lang magkaroon siya ng shadows. Para magkaroon ng shape yung kanyang face. So, yun lang yung kulang. But otherwise, the rest of the painting is, is, ano, is beautiful. Okay? If you want to add more lavenders, feel free to do that also. To make uh, an illusion that um, Hedwig is in the middle of a lavender tree. Very good, Bon. Yes, very good. Okay, so Carlina left na. Maybe she has to do something pa. So it's fine. If you're done na, if you're okay na, if you don't have... Oh, see, okay, so Carlina is back. Hi, Carlina. Can can you show us your... Ano, your can you show us, please, your art? And then, let me just spotlight you, ha? Add spotlight. I'll remove mine. Okay. Okay. Very good. Okay. So, you just need a few details around the eye. Yung ito, oh, yung mga shadow ng fine feathers. And then, pero beautiful artwork. And then, if you would like to add more lavender, feel free to do that around Kedwig. But, great job on your artwork. Since this is your first time to paint owls, uh, wow, very good. Congratulations, kids. So, lalagyan nyo lang ng details around the eye area. Okay, ito, itong part na to, yun lang yung nagkulang sa inyo. Okay? Otherwise, your artworks are beautiful. Okay. So, yun. So, let's have a class picture, everyone. Okay, let's have a class picture and please showcase your artwork. Mine is already there on the second screen and let me just wait lang ha. Let me just grab a snip too so I can take a photo of my screen. Okay, sige. One, two, three. There you go. Now, uh, yeah, na-save ko na siya. Very good, kids. Let me just rename that file in the desktop. And if you don't have any more questions, um, yeah, you can leave the room na. Congratulations on finishing your artwork. If you want to add some more, go ahead. Feel free to do that. It's especially in greetings part. Okay? Bye, teacher. Thank you. Thank you then for attending today. Have a nice week ahead. Teacher. Bye. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Thank you so much. Happy Valentine's Day. Bye-bye. Thank you, Vaughn. Thank you so much. Happy Valentine's Day to your parents as well. <laughs> Bye, teacher. Bye-bye. Join us next time, okay? We will be painting food. And gonna.